Sponsor us, Raising Cane. Sponsor Kane. us, yo. We need that money to make that honey. <laughs> All right, now, nah, but uh, our first topic today uh, is how y'all think that social media influence our generation. Like, how does it influence us, like Facebook and shit? I, I got a good one for that. I feel like Facebook and, like, social media gives everybody a voice, but I feel like it's a good and bad thing because you can grow from it. As far as like, you feel me, like getting your shit out there and like <clears throat> collaborating with other people and shit like that. But it's a downside too because people share their thoughts. People be having shitty, sh shitty thoughts and like they be trying to down people and shit. And then another thing, I feel like people in our generation put like too much like value like on like what they say sometimes. It's like, like I didn't hear people be like, Oh, I don't respect that person or like I don't fuck with that person because it blase this, blase this. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. bro, like, like if somebody told me like, hey, I don't respect you, I'd just be like, bro, like, I don't give no fuck because like <laughs> I can't take your respect and go to the bank and cash that shit. Like, that's one thing. That's that's what I feel like too. Cause like <clears throat> with social media, it's like so especially especially Facebook. I'm gonna just speak on Facebook in general because <laughs> it's like the worst fucking place on the planet. Yeah, it's Facebook. And, like somebody. A lot of people like to just troll, period. You know what I'm saying? Like people like, live to just huge. troll, yeah. But then also like 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 when I was going through like depression and stuff like that back you know, when I was going through it, like when you go on Facebook, all you see is is posts like uh it'd be like a meme and it'd be like forever alone, oh, everybody yeah, hates yeah, me yeah. type shit. And it's just a meme that that's on there and people just sharing it and you get on there and that's all you see is stuff like that. And then, you know, it's like it's just like kind of like promoting that, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not helping you now. It's making you feel worse now because yeah. you're seeing this shit. And when you see it, you're thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, at that aspect, you can't control that, though. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, that just depends on what you like. You know, I, like, literally, like, actually like, like, mm -hmm. groups you follow and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm a part of, like, a Jeep group. And, like, yeah. those are, like, the most racist motherfuckers I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, like, for real? Yeah, like, like uh, during President's Day, like, you know, somebody was, like, our worst president had, like, Barack Obama. Oh, and wow. then it had, like, a picture of, like, like you know, uh, Donald Trump pissing on fucking Barack and shit. And people oh, you like, like, the football pitch they be doing. Yeah, like, all, yeah, all, type, yeah, like, all yeah. types of fucked up yeah. shit. And um, uh, there was all the comments were, like, yeah, fuck Obama, he did see that. And then, like, it's, it's a handful of people, like, throwing out, like, um, you know, and see that's yeah, what I hate too. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I hate yeah, too like, about social media. Everyone's fucking racist. That's what I hate too about social media is because it's like people be so powerful through keyboards, yeah. right? And then yeah. like, and then like when you get them in person, they don't be nothing. It'll like be that. The, the whole it's conversation. Like, be totally it's different. like you would see somebody on like Twitter or Facebook, and you'd be like, damn, like. They tough as hell. You see them in person, like exactly. They just ghost there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Me, like you just fucking <laughs> boom gang my ass. Man, I, I don't know. Uh, social media, it's like it's uh, up and down for me. For all right, on some days you use social media to make business, making making moves in your life. Yeah. But on the other side, networking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. To monetize things you do, but on the other side you got. Uh, these random people making posts, irrelevant posts. Oh yeah, I'm going offline for me for a few few years. I, I don't care. Bye. You don't have to post that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just I'll, be I'll random see, stuff man. like that. But uh, it, it, it's, it's 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 I think it's uh it's mutual for me. It's I don't have I'm not towards one way and I'm not towards another way. I'm kind of like in the middle. Like, I feel you. Yeah. yeah. What people I, need to realize is like it's who you fuck don't make me come and what you eat don't, don't make, make me shit. shit. Yeah. See, we also gotta think though. The question was, does it impact? Oh, so right. the answer definitely is that social yeah, media. Yeah. I, I guess okay, it, it does. It, it does, does it, strongly impact. It does. Yeah, it, does, it, it can impact you positively or it can impact you negatively. Yep. So basically, that's facts. It's definitely uh, something that. Quick answer: Yes. Yes. It, 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 it will <laughs> impact. Yeah. It will. That's why I only really be on Instagram. And on Instagram, I don't follow nobody but celebrities, bro. I got like a few people that I know, and everybody else is celebrities. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm kind of bougie, like. 
when I was on Instagram and I had my shit, like if you ain't follow me back, I ain't follow you. Yeah. <laughs> what I say last episode, that's that life skill shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm really laughs> no, but he ain't lying because I don't like that. So like, I, got, I got like three people that I'm that's not following me that I'm following. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what the fuck you think you think you is? You ain't gonna follow me back. <laughs> like, I'm, I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I had came to it. Like I had took air a lot of people. Like my Instagram <laughs> used to be mostly people that we know. Yeah. But I took a lot of them off because I feel like what you looking at, what you viewing every day, is what you going your your life kind of automatic. You what you see. feeding yourself, yeah. What you yeah, yeah. what you feeding yourself is what you gonna get. And I feel like if I'm just looking at pictures of you know what I'm saying, uh, niggas holding guns, bitches shaking ass, motherfuckers talking shit, this, that, and other, that's all I'm going to receive. I ain't gonna so lie, I, I, like, I like watching bitches shaking yeah. ass. I mean, yeah, of course, but I mean, like, yeah. I mean, like, uh, like, like, I follow um, DJ Khaled, and like, all of DJ Khaled stuff is real inspirational and stuff really? like that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, flowers and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Stuff. Like, good stuff like that, that yeah. it just feeds you better, it feeds your life better. When you on Facebook or something like that. Like when I get on Facebook, I'm looking at a lot of negativity. Somebody arguing with somebody, somebody beefing with somebody, somebody sneak this and somebody, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that should be on Twitter too. So that's why I've been got rid of my Twitter, bro. I got rid of Twitter a long time. <laughs> I ain't even gonna speak on Twitter. I just got a Snapchat eight. Matter of fact, add me on Snapchat, legend underscore C W. I be on there doing hella funny shit. I'm they don't do shit on Snapchat. His shit weak. Nah, but our next our next topic, easing into it. You and Demetrius is about to come back. Uh, uh, is um, racism, which is kind of has a lot to do with the social media aspect too. We were just talking about the like Chris was talking about the how racist the G group was, but like more so like how do you think in today's society compared to like back in the day, like you know what I'm saying with uh, when Jim Crow and all that stuff was going on. Uh, how's racism now? I ain't go front. I feel like it's it's a lot more like. Low key, because like when I went really? to ISU and shit like that, like I was kicking it with the white kids and shit like that, like and they was cool as fuck. And like the thing about it is, it's like if you don't act off ignorant and like you feel me, like ghetto fat and shit like that, then you feel me, they see you differently. Like, but when you out here, you feel me, and you acting like a certain way and shit like that, that's how they go treat you. But see, I don't even think it's necessarily low key though, because I feel like it's, I, it's like, in a different way. So, I right, here's an example. When I was uh, when I was looking for my first apartment, right. I was uh, I think I was like 18 when I got my first apartment. Right. Yeah. Um, they never moves. saw my face, but I filled out application. I passed all the levels, and then I got approved. They're like, yeah, you can move in on this day. But then a lady called me back. And she wants to meet me. And then when she meet me, when she met me, she was like, "Oh yeah, this uh this apartment sold." Oh, yeah, I'm like, "Oh, it sold," but he just said it wasn't. But anyway, anyway, I got my money back. And then like three, four days later, it's posted back on online for for, for rent. Yeah. I'm like, "Wow!" <laughs> but it, so racism it exists, but it's in a different way. And another example is um when you're going for a job or whatever, you fill it out online, and then they like, "Yeah, come in for an interview or whatever." And they see you, and they like, "Nah, yeah. you you know you don't fit the you know, the <coughs> description or whatever." So I mean, it, it's there. It, it's, it's there. I think one thing that I that I had saw, uh, like when I went to uh, Columbia, I had a 50 year civil rights class, and it was like a really diverse class. People from like all over, and uh, it was people in there. Like it was it was white kids in there uh, who had never actually seen a black person in person before. Wow. And it was uh yeah, you know what I'm saying it was black people who have never been to like. Uh, a more white neighborhood or something like that, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people didn't know the other side of the world. Like, it was people in there who legit didn't even know anything, you know what I'm saying? They were they were ignorant to a lot of the situation. And I think nowadays, I think, I don't think that uh it's more low-key. Yeah. I think that the thing that's changing with, that's starting to change now, and I think in the future is going to be a big difference, is that a lot of people, our generation and generations, generations after us don't give a fuck. About that type of shit. Yeah, I feel like it's like the when it comes, generations that trying to feed yeah. that shit. Like, and you know, you got your select few who they was just raised like that. But you know, yeah, nowadays, I think that's the base. Honestly, I think it's like when you're actually like taught to hate or to feel or see a di see a person a different way because of their color. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and then when shit's like, I was talking to somebody like stereotypes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's. Me personally, I believe a lot of stereotypes. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, a lot of stereotypes I, are true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they all have some basis. It's, it's, like, a, it's, it's like a joke. 
Yeah, you could be. You, you could say some real uh, fucked up shit funny, but either way it goes, some of that got to be true. I mean, it's that's just like with us. Like, like you know, they say black people is more aggressive and shit like that. So when we speaking amongst ourselves and shit like that, it might be okay for me to be like, "Shut your bitch ass up." But somebody else might hit at and be like, "Damn, why, why is he so be mad? He's fucked up to his friend, yeah. but he's playing." Just like when we, when we used to be in the gym and shit. And like me, you and Abdiel would be working out, and I'd be like, "All right, white boy, it's on you." People would be looking like, "Damn, he just called his homie a white boy," but like that's how we call each other. Like, but I think stereotypes, boy, stereotypes is like I don't even think stereotypes is like should be like a thing that's really like it's based upon what race you are because it really just depends on where you're from and how you raised. Exactly. It's like they say you are what you uh, like. They say uh uh uh. Product of your environment. People, yeah, you're a product exactly. of your environment. Mm-hmm. Like they say, most most people think that black motherfuckers is ignorant. A lot of people think that white motherfuckers got no rhythm. A lot of motherfuckers think, you know what I'm saying, et cetera, et cetera. But I know plenty of white motherfuckers who can dance their ass off. I know my black ass can't dance. And, you know what I'm saying? I know plenty of, of, of white dudes or Hispanic dudes or whatever else that's, that's straight gangster. And I know black niggas who soft as, soft as tissue. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah, yeah. It's a product of your environment. Yeah, it's a product yeah. of your environment. I mean, can't none of their ass hoop, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing. If we, if we all grew up in Bolingbrook or some shit like that, it'd be different. It would, and I grew up in, too. I grew up in a black neighborhood and a white neighborhood. So you could, I kind of saw both sides of the yeah, point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's a total difference. Like, it is just your environment, for real, and how you raise. You know what I'm saying? Like... When I came to Maywood, it was drastically different than when I lived in Mount Prospect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, a vast difference. And, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's where you come from, man, for real. Like, yo, 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 skin tone, yo, sex, yo, race. Uh, I ain't who, that one. Who I ain't, I can't do that one. I, I, will, I, I ain't gonna right. start, start it. Start it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I ain't going to. I ain't going to. So, so. <laughs> I ain't naming no names, but I'm pretty sure most people who was around know what I'm talking about anyway. Uh, so, I know sophomore year. I know you're talking about <laughs> Sophomore year, you know, uh, anybody know how the band room is, 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 is? You know, the jazz band room, it was like me and like maybe six other motherfuckers that were uh-huh. kicking in this shit, right? And my girl at the time, they had a little closet area and <laughs> shit. This nigga funny. They had, we had, they had a little closet area and shit, right? But and like so me and Shorty go to the closet. <laughs> me and Shorty go to the closet, right? And, you know, we get to doing what we do in the closet. But, you know, I'm, I'm just young. I'm excited and shit. So I ain't thinking of nothing else but what I'm doing. And so, <laughs> so I got home, like, on the desk, right? And so the desk, like, just. Going crazy, bro. Like, like I don't got nothing to show you, but I mean, like, like I'm smashing and just boom, 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 right? And so uh, we on the fourth floor, so I know they hear this from us, right? And all of, all of a sudden, all I hear, all I go, and I hear Mr. Right voice. What y'all doing in there? Oh, man, we, we, oh, we get to busting the move real quick. We run up, we run up in the jazz room. And we act like they not happening. Like it's a bunch of us in the chill. And actually, I know Mr. Right. And uh, like a couple other people go up there, and this girl, she's like, they was juicing, Mr. Right, they was juicing. Yeah, she's like, they was juicing, Mr. Right, coming to his office. He's like, my son, like, you know you got to do this at your house now, son. You can't be doing that up here. I said, like, man, Mr. Right, I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. And now I think about it, I think mom was in the bedroom, too. In the two room, to be exact. Everybody's in the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The two room, to be exact. So... I think it was my junior year, and for some reason, we were fucking horny and One shit. One day on banking? After, it was after, it was after <laughs> school, it was after school, but it wasn't no practice. I think it was like a Friday or something, he didn't have no practice. Yeah. And, um, I mean, the girl went to the tube room and shit, my dumb ass took all the tubers, it was like seven of them. Line them bitches up? <laughs> stacked them from the dough to the other side of the wall, bro, like, and then like put a bunch of shit in front of the dough, like, I made sure, like, you could not open that motherfucker, right? Yeah. So I got her ass on the desk. I'm smashing her. <laughs> like, I got her ass bent over the desk and shit. I know shit. what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm you know it. I got her ass straight pipe. Motherfucking, uh, what's that? Poochie, you know what fucking name? Oh, was. yeah. Came at the door with her and, um, damn, Spots, I think. Spots, yeah. Yeah, they had oh, came spots to the door. Spots cool as hell. Bro, yeah, Poochie had... Nobody. She she pushed the door just enough and all she saw was ass, bro. Like she was like, who ass is that? And the door, and the, the, I pushed. I, I was like, fuck, like, because like, all, like, all you see is cheeks, bro, and me. Like she like went over the thing, bro. And, and, 
And we bad. We ooh. Through our <laughs> and she just, she was like, uh-huh, come on out of there. We, come so, on out of there. We walked there with our heads down and everything. And she was baking our ass on that. Like, I ain't gonna say nothing. We get y'all little stank ass out of there. Y'all see what we doing that shit. Shit probably don't even work right. Like, she baking our ass. And we just like, we walking out like, like, Yeah, you're right. <laughs> what are you, team? It's a kid. But, that's, well, was, but that's, that, that door was locked in a bit. Yeah. She opened that shit just enough. Fuck you. Oh about. my god. That, yeah, that's definitely probably my craziest shit. That was well, funny. It probably too. ain't because I got some other crazy fucking stories. Yeah. I got some crazy stories about oh, you. Go ahead, y'all. Yeah, I, I got, got some crazy uh, stories yeah. with, with us. Fuck you. Y'all. <laughs> with y'all. Oh, Lord. No. <laughs> no, I like that. No, no, no I like no, that. No, 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 <laughs> look, I got some stories. What's up? What's up? I got I got stories. What's up? Let me let me try. I got, I got you know it. you ain't got to think that. Uh, <laughs> it's a, right, I, the funny niggas always trying to act like. <laughs> man, man. I, I, I had here's one. This was a. Uh, this was at a train station. This was a train <laughs> station. <laughs> like man, you was working at the train. A train station. He what? <laughs> Man, when well, was it? Yeah, this was the metro train station. Up and you know when you get to wait for the train, and I couldn't wait for the train. This boy reckless. <laughs> All right, so this is what happened. We we sitting there waiting for the train or whatever, and then what's her name? I'm I ain't gonna tell you. No, we just we sitting. All right, wait a minute. We we sitting there. We waiting for the train or whatever. Um, this was in uh, the suburbs, west suburbs. I ain't gonna say the. <laughs> but, but anyway, we waited for the train. She, <laughs> the train was delayed for an hour. This is about 10 at night, 10.30, something like that. But anyway, we waited for the train. The train didn't come. She started to kissing on me or whatever. So then after that, we start, we start, you know, getting down. I mean, she had her leg up, for real, yeah. like, on, on the maps and whatever. So I'm in there. The I'm, I'm, I'm in there. What time is it? Why wasn't anybody watching this? No, Where's no, actually, somebody was watching, watching this. This is the crazy part. So I'm in there going crazy. Then, uh, then uh, the, the officer, he come up there with the light, like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what y'all doing? <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> me and Cheek, I'm just like this. <laughs> cheeks, <laughs> cheeks out like a. <laughs> hey, buddy, got butt ass. He took off all his shit. He took off all his shit. He had a certain amount. What do you say? You take your shit off of everything. Bro. I just even put on me a head, bro. I get ass naked. Maybe ass naked. Maybe ass naked. Maybe ass naked. But yeah, I'm going to take a shit. Yeah, he, he basically, the dude, the officer basically like, yeah, man, I did this when I was like 16. Go ahead, put your clothes on and, get, and uh, the train was about to come. But yeah, that's one of them. I got a book, but we ain't going to I got that. a book. <laughs> we ain't going to go into this. Little black book. With <laughs> CJ? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you go, how you get hit? Uh, <laughs> you go, how you get hit? <laughs> I have to say, my crazy sex experience is probably like, it'll be my first time when I'm thinking I'm about to be some shit up, yo. Like, I'm like, I'm gonna say yours last, but uh, best yo best drunk experience. Oh, man, oh. I got a lot of drunk experience, but <laughs> I think one of the funniest moments ever in life was his birthday when he used to live on on Seven. Yeah. And we was in that lit, like we was uh, at the his, hotel. Yeah. No, 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 no. We was at his house. Yeah. And we it was, was like in that. Or yeah, we was in that getting lit, right? <laughs> Going crazy. Actually, it's a lot of funny stuff about that night. Yeah, we gonna go too deep into it. But this is the funny part about it, right? We hear his people come up, right? So we end up drunk as hell. And Chris people, they, they roll up, and we weren't supposed to be there. So Chris like, y'all go out the front, go out the front. So we leave out the front. All right, we we getting out the jam. Why this nigga run from his run too? <laughs> bro, he got out the jam. Like like, like we left everything. Bro. Yeah, we left everything. Like, it was bottles. It was bottles. 
this man ran with us, bro. We down the street. And Chris, like, when we go, he's like, I ran bro. next door. I ran yeah, next he's like, bro, I gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I gotta go back. We was so lit, bro. It was like, that was like some fucking 1800, bro. We was yeah, just lit. Like, it was like, that, my, that was I, I think it was my 20th birthday or some shit. Like, like what, something like that. What, 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 what your people say? They look you weren't that bad. Like, nothing happened. Like, yeah. But it was still just like, damn, you could have just told me I could have had it. Yeah. Motherfuckers could have, y'all would have just showed up to a lit ass event. That, like, that, that, that killed me though. Like, this man ran with us. Yeah. Like, we went at his crib. Like, that was one of the like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> like, yeah, you I, gotta I go right back. at the front door with the ass, bro. Like, you didn't have to go back. <laughs> no, I think my, my drunkest experience is uh, when I did Turtle. My freshman year, it's like a drink organization in my yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. That was the worst time in my life. Man. <laughs> when I did that yeah, shit, yeah, that was the worst all I remember, all I remember, it was four of us, all I remember was somehow leaving leaving the dorm that we were in, getting to the food, like, because it was like homecoming and shit, so there was like vendors and shit like that outside. Getting some food and then going to the dorm. I remember playing in my puke. I, I remember... I. Okay, I don't remember. You were playing in your throw up. Yeah, Damn. but I, not with my hand. I had like a a, 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 a hanger that I undid. Wow, he was, was drunk. Like, he was just uh, was, <laughs> bro. No, I, uh, I woke up with no shirt on, no <laughs> shoes, no socks. My pants was undid <laughs> under a bed. Wow. Yeah, why pants, was your pants undid? But what you was doing? No, someone bet me that I couldn't take my clothes all my clothes off in ten seconds. So apparently I ripped that shit off, <laughs> and they had stopped me before I went all the way. Like, oh, oh, shit. Because <laughs> yeah, apparently it's like, it's like, you know, take that shit off, I'm like, you know, not that shit, but... Uh, say less. <laughs> apparently somebody, uh, I, I guess I got up in the middle of the night and pissed on the dude's <laughs> room. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> like, legit, like legit, just pissed on just his took bed. took it out. <laughs> and then I like, crawled back under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I remember mean, you told me that shit when you was a kid. I was little sad, man. Because you was on top of the bunk bed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that story. You got to tell the story now. I got to tell the story. All right, this is what happened. Uh, I was probably like <coughs> five, six. He was six. drunk, bro. He was drunk. I was, I was drunk. No, what happened was I was scared of the dark. And our hallway was dark. Because that one window was space. It, it was just dark. It was just dark. But anyway, I had to go to the bathroom one time. But I was gonna dark. <laughs> it was dark in that hallway. But, but I had that night. I had that night light up in the room. And then there's a few clothes, a few dirty clothes. I knew that was gonna get washed anyway. So I had to make a decision. Like, should I go in this dark hallway, go to the bathroom, or should I hang out this nightlight? I picked it up. <laughs> I, 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 I picked it up. I picked the nightlight. <laughs> so I whipped it out right there by the nightlight. Like, <laughs> my brother get up. He's like, "What's that smell?" What's that smell? <laughs> I'm like, "Oh no!" <laughs> oh, I, 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 I get to go back up on my bunk bed, went to sleep, woke up for uh, Miss Schaefer class. <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, it was I was six. That wasn't Miss Schaefer class. That's another story. I tell y'all, man. Yeah, <laughs> how many times he pissed twice? <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 But uh, angle, was, angle tell that's that's room. He was like, like oh, look at this room stink like a mouse. <laughs> the whole crib. <laughs> he probably be doing that shit in here. <laughs> <laughs> he probably got a pile right over here. Yeah, it's right 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 the corner. No, no, I was like, I was like six, seven. <laughs> that had, but something happened in shape of class. No, you pissed on yourself. It wasn't me who pissed. Somebody else. They were asleep, and when they, uh, they I guess they uh, woke up and thought they was going to a bathroom, but they end up peeing. <laughs> My 21st, bro, I took 10 shots of dark, 11 shots of light, a shot of Everclear, and a shot of Bacardi 51 proof. And that's all I remember. I just remember people showing me videos of me, like, doing dumb shit. Like, I had, I, when I woke up, my nose, it was like a little bit bleeding. It wasn't Damn. really bad, but it was just a little bit. I had cupcake icing and frosting all over my face. So smack the shit out your ass with cupcake. My was fucked. Nah, they said oh. I ran into the wall. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> hey, Sorry. now, I remember, I remember one time I got so drunk. And I had, I was, that's when I used to sleep upstairs. I got so drunk, bro. And, like, in the morning, I woke up in the middle of the night. And I went to the bathroom on a piss. And when I, I had looked in the mirror, it was like, I had, no, nah, I spit. I had spit. And it was hella blood came out. And I was scared as hell, bro. I'm praying. I'm like, God, I'll never drink again, bro. I'm scared as hell. Hey, you been lying to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, I, but, uh, I, guess, I had that some tissue and shit right in my nose and shit. And it was like just, I had a bloody nose. That was it, bro. I was so, bro, I was so scared, bro. I was like, no, 
I was like, yeah. I never do it. I thought I was dying, bro. I thought it was hey, but I used to get whoopers. I used to be in the bathroom, like I got a shit, and I'll be in that bitch praying. <laughs> oh, no, I, I got a funny get some story about ass whoopers, whoopers, bro. Yeah. Dead ass be in the bathroom on the sink or the toilet, like. Damn. Oh yeah, yeah. We I had a request. We had a request for this podcast yeah. episode. Oh. Keisha, Keisha wanted us to tell a story about our worst whooping. I gotta go first. Uh, <laughs> worst one time. Shit. One time, you feel me? I forgot what I did in school. We were still in Lexington, but I did something dumb as hell. So my daddy finna whoop my ass when I got when, he, when I got home. So I, I got to the crib. <clears throat> I hurried up. I went to the bathroom. Now y'all know I'm skinny as hell. But I fold the drop towel up, trying to make it perfect as hell. I'm trying to put it on my ass. <laughs> so then while he whooping me, I'm trying to be That's fake it. with it. I'm, I'm, oh, oh. Hey, buddy, look like Black China. <laughs> <laughs> he like, he like, what? This shit ain't even making the right noise. He, Pull your motherfucking pants down. Oh, he probably like, beat the. He probably whooped that. Ah, boom, he moved that motherfucking drop down. <laughs> 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 crazy. Because I was trying to boom gang his ass. And he got mad because you feel me when he kept bringing it back. So he's moving, so he hitting himself. <laughs> <laughs> One time he missed, he. Fucking me up. I was mad as hell after that. I ain't talked to his ass for like three, three, thirty minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> Before he came in and uh, talked to you. Yeah, yeah. For, you know, shit. only your motherfucking parents can talk to you after they whoop your ass. Like, look, Joe. Yeah, <laughs> that was harder for me. Yeah, was harder. <laughs> right? Like they, they gave you the speed. Like, nigga, like, you know you I don't like doing this. Right. right. Chris, I want to hear yours. I know your shit got to be funny. I know yeah. his funny. I know a lot of his stories. I, 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 got, I, got, a, I got a lot of stories. <laughs> I, think, I think the worst one, though, I think I was in fifth grade, and I think uh, Miss Fulton and them tried to put some D's on my shit, like one quarter. But uh, I hate Miss Fulton. But like, they I had, like, it, but they I fucked up the way they wanted, like, the way they wrote it. Like, they put a C, but then you could see, I mean, they put a D, but you could see a C scratched over, like, they were going to round up. Uh, but it looked, I swear to God, I didn't do it, fam. <laughs> but man, I got home <laughs> and they were arguing with me. Because, like, I showed it to them, I'm, I'm damn near crying when I'm giving it to them. I know he knew what was going to happen. His ass was already Because they knew. Because they knew. You know what I'm saying? And I knew, like, damn, man, they're going to beat my ass. <laughs> and I had just, like, I think the report got before that, like, forged his signatures. So, like, Ooh. they dead ass was going to be like, oh, you little shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can hear your mom saying that, like, you little shit. <laughs> like, man. I think I think the worst part is like they made me sit like like sit in my room while they was arguing in the next room about that shit, and I keep hearing it, it was like mental warfare, bro. I keep hearing the little door open and close, and I hear him like, "Cause I'm gonna just go out there and I'm gonna just you know do that and I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna think like fuck fuck fuck." Clearly <laughs> <laughs> shaking, stomach curving and shit. And my mama like, you know, and you can hear it slam back shut, and I hear him keep arguing. I'm like, "Fuck!" Like, this motherfucker came out there like, cause he, he used to do the running the circle joint. But he learned. He learned. This motherfucker had me sit, <laughs> put my like with my hands over the couch. Ooh. Yeah, you would. <laughs> Damn yeah. He put you in the like, cut. Bro, it was like a fucking belt, at least three inches like in diameter, bro. That motherfucker grabbed ass, motherfucker. <laughs> And he ain't have any, so he was hitting back, motherfucking thighs, kneecaps. Like, that shit right around, like, <laughs> kneecaps. That's the like, worst shit. when you get in the whooping bar, motherfucker, when you ain't got no yeah, micro yeah, hit yeah. the ass. Right? Like, like, like damn. Leave the thighs alone. <laughs> Man. Yeah, we have these, uh... Alright, what's the other thing you use? It's not tennis. But it, table tennis. But Somebody you have a little ball back. <laughs> all the uh, ping pong. These little ping pong you did. Yeah. All right, so uh, we had those, but we had the wooden joints. <laughs> we I forgot to clean the bathroom. I ain't forget. I just didn't do it. But I told him I forgot to clean the bathroom. <laughs> my, this is my dad. I told him. My mom's at work. Your dad is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, funny. So he he was like, uh, what is is that a wooden pedal? I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah. It's a I'm like, yeah. I gave it to him. I get to walking up. He grabbed me. Bow! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> then I tell you to clean this bathroom. He's just going crazy with it. <laughs> 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 you know how you grab me? 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 Yeah, that's one of the stories. <laughs> he get the grabbing, hitting me like he trying to make home runs and shit. <laughs> I don't think I got I got a lot of stories, but I think the one of the, the, one of the ones that's just funny to me is that I, I think it was some bad grade shit too. And uh, you know how my dining room, we got that big glass table in the middle of it. Uh, and my mama, you know, I had sat on the other side of the table on purpose because I knew what was going to happen. So I sat on the opposite side of the table, it's all right. And so she, you know, go get her belt. She's like, you know what's going to happen. I said, 
And I'm ready to <coughs> And so my mama, she come around the table. And I'm moving Take the other side of the table. <laughs> and she said, she said, quit playing with me, boy. <laughs> and so she come around the table. I go on the other side. So she gets to the chasing me, bro. Like, we run it, bro. Like, we run it now. Like, this around like the table. Yeah, so she chased me for a minute. And then, like, she just stopped. And she gets to the laughing. So I'm thinking it's sweet. Like, I'm like, oh, you know, it's all good. Like, you know, she laughing and shit. We she cool now. Yeah. So I'm trying to walk past her. Like, ease my way past go to the kitchen. Boy, she snatched me up so quick. Boy, she... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I swear she hit a combo on me, bro. She, 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 she hit the X, Y, Z. <laughs> she hit the going crazy on me, bro. It was wild, bro. Hell no. It was wild. Well, I got a hella story. R T X Y. Oh my god. I think the back, worst. Back, back, wild. I think the worst one is when one parent be like, "No, you know, I got you. I got your back." You know, you ain't gonna get in trouble for it. Then the other uh -huh. pair come home mad as hell that you did that shit, and you get whooping anyway. <laughs> you think you in the good? Like you worried when you get home, like. <laughs> and then like my mama, your mama trying to sit there and shit and like finesse his ass. You know, it's okay, baby. You know, he ain't even doing it. Right. Right. And he come home and whoop that ass even uh, harder. Uh, and then uh, and then be mad at her all night because her ass tried to finesse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll never trust you again. He's always being soft on the little motherfucker. I'll be the whoop. Oh, I ain't gonna lie though. That best. Sleep is after you get your oh, ass whooped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you drunk, out. when you Wait. drunk and when you get your ass whooped, you sleep. You just lay there, your shit. But I swear though, as soon as that, as soon as that whooping over though, you be in the bathroom or you room on the floor. Boy, you be plotting everybody murder. Boy, you be like, I hate y'all. I hate everybody. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that was just me. Man, I'm, gonna just bitch up, right? I'm gonna float this bitch up, right? I'm gonna float this bitch up. Dude, that's funny as hell. I, I, I used to wear this hair just like yell in my pillow. Oh, God. But then I'll be, be good after that. That's all I needed. Just like, ah. I'll be punching. Like, what's that movie where he was punching the air? <laughs> oh, oh. Boys and the Boys and the Hood. That's how I do this. Where we see ourselves in like the next five years. Like, what's, oh, our, yeah, what's yeah. our goals? You know what I'm saying? Like, where we want to be in like the next five years. Shit, man. In the next five years. I want to see myself owning something, like, you feel me, owning something in my career field, you feel me, I ain't going to speak on what I'm trying to do, because you feel me, I'm just let it happen if it's meant to be, mm -hmm. and you feel me, Jay, if it's somebody, be with that somebody, you feel me. Y'all can't be hoes all y'all life. Man, that's you, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, right? Yeah, right here. It's only so much rope on the line. <laughs> uh, in five years, I could, I see myself probably selling the company I got. <laughs> Just traveling, doing stuff I like, investing in more real estate. Yep. You know, uh, <clears throat> just. Damn, being just a, blew my shit out the wall. Just being, just being, yeah. nah, I mean, everybody got their own goals, but I, I just feel like I'm my shit. Me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, just, I can just see, I just see myself not having a nine to five and just doing stuff, just doing what I want to do at the time I want to do it without having a clock in. That's, that's, that's dope, bro. I that's hope you get that shit. Right. <laughs> uh, with me, five years. I'm kind of stuck in between trying to just further myself in school. Not well, not well, yeah, school, but. Further myself from like my my job shit, get a little more experience under my belt. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want this job to teach me how to do how to drive like forklifts and shit like that. Yeah. And um, I'm thinking of getting it more into like a factory kind of setting. Like there's some real money in the upper the upper it parts is. of that company. Like it just is. any like random random company. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like like we have a small ass one building ass company, and in one week we just made three hundred and like fifty thousand dollars. For real? Popcorn, yeah. fam. Who y'all bring for the team? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Everybody in there is at like a decent pay rate. Like, there's nobody like getting low ball except the temps. Like the temps. Man, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But uh, but either that, or I will get a little more experience, and then I'm gonna try to go back to my my masters eventually. Oh, you another, get that shit, bro. Yeah, three four years, just let him take off and do that shit. <laughs> so trending. Uh, I think with me, uh, I know I want to get into owning some properties, like. I want to own at least one apartment building by that point. I want to own at least one apartment building. And I want to get into uh, revamping and flipping houses and stuff like that, making some cash off that. Um, yeah, uh, with my current job, by then I should be doing stuff in my uh, teaching more so at the school that I'm working at right now. I should be doing more teaching and stuff like that. <clears throat> Five years. Um, 
I'm gonna be in five years. I'm gonna be 24 this year. So what is that? Yeah, like 29. You old as shit. Damn, man. <laughs> yeah, what we talking about? Y'all already 24, right? Y'all yeah. old as shit. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm yeah. older than you. Yeah. Honestly, I wanna, I wanna have a house. <laughs> I, wanna have, I wanna have a house. Like, uh, by that point, I'm pretty sure I should be out of my apartment stage. So I wanna have my own crib and stuff. And if. If I'm blessed enough, you know what I'm saying, and starting a family and stuff around that time and stuff, you know. So I want to so start a family. More blessings, then, more life. You know, you know? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't mind having a, having a kid like next year. Oh, that ass. I don't know about that. I want. I definitely. I just, I just don't want my my shorty growing up. You know what I'm saying? Like my shorty while I'm old. Old ass yeah. dad. Exactly. That's one of my main points. Like when my kids turn I twenty, I don't want to be yeah. like sixty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, but also, it's like I would be seventy. Why are you saying that now? But you're not gonna be able to keep up with the, the, your kid, bro. I think my main thing up, that's, that stops me from having a kid at this very moment is that I want my finances to be all the way in order. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to have right, that crib right. already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where and, and be able to make money to the point where I don't have to stress about, you know, if I can get by on something uh-huh. or stress about paying something. Like I don't have to worry. I can pay it and still have money left over to do yeah. what I got to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When well, my kid can be born and I have to worry about nothing. I just feel like before it's I... expensive to it, Yeah, so yeah. before I have a kid, I just want to do... I just want you know travel, do get out there yeah, and do the things I want to do first. Do all that first, then. Yeah. <laughs> so I actually in five years I can probably see myself. I can probably see myself with a with a kid in like five years. Yeah. I mean I, we gonna be twenty eight, twenty nine by then. So yeah, we definitely should. I mean we plan on traveling this summer. So yeah, so five I mean, years from now, I'm pretty sure we, we do a lot we'll of traveling. We'll be done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean hopefully y'all do Royal, y'all stop the Royal Oaks. Put y'all stop <laughs> that shit. This guy. I'm pretty much done. Tadarachi. <laughs> Ain't no point in cheating when we too old, bro. Man, yeah. Oh, yeah, five years, years I can see myself. Well, I'm going to have a kid. It's going to be with the girl that I'm settled down with and, like, plan, probably planning on a marriage or some shit like that. Then you just going to ask me like that? Bro? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he be dropping that shit on shorty in our group every day, though. I mean, that, that's, what I say, that's, that's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, every, if everything, if the, if the cards Damn. play right, and if you if, if I'm blessed enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, ever since I was destroyed, that's been one of my biggest things is having a family, you know what I'm saying? But, like, so, on a sad note, do you, like, do y'all really trust marriage? What you mean? Like, how y'all feel about it? I ain't going for it. I feel like people only get married for the benefits of it. Like, Some I don't people. believe it's no... Like, I don't believe, like, it's no such thing as, like, two people just, like, I don't believe, like, a shorty really gonna marry you because she love you. Like, she just married you for the benefits of marriage. Like, I don't know. Nah, that's not always true. That can go the other way. Because, bro, I, I mean, yeah. If a female, person, if a female, person, person, if a female I'm just dude saying because we all do. Coattail, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can't speak from that point of view because we all do. I think it just depends on, like, the people, for real, because I feel like I'm not gonna get married unless I know for a fact that, that that's what I want with this, this right. woman. You know what I'm saying? But when you no, like, like marriage is different, though. Marriage, marriage is marriage is different, bro. That's like some sacred ground type stuff. Like once you get married to a person, like you can't be out here being stupid, doing all other stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. At this point, when you decide that you want to marry a person, it's just that like, commitment. You know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that's some that's next yeah. level stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's right. not just like a relationship now. You know what I'm saying? You, so, you gotta ignore that damn motherfucker. But I think though that I think though. But that's gonna stay. I feel like that's gonna always. Yeah, that's gonna always stay. You just gotta ignore it. But I think that go back to what we talked about last episode too. We talking about love, how it just get tossed around. The the word love just get tossed around like that. The reason why I ask that is because you feel me like I've seen like it's always like this. It's like the females who get dudes, they be going. But the females who like are single. They don't be on that shit because they already been through that shit and they know what most motherfuckers be about. And you got to really show them that you see it for them to like even give you the time of the day. Yeah. But like, it be the same shit. Love is not easy. If not, bro, but people... Love don't love I, nobody, people, fam. Remember <laughs> when we worked at um, the, the little camera joint, right? Right. The dude, you feel me? I forgot his name, but the dude told me that him and his homeboy went over to this married woman house. She used to get her husband. Stupid, sloppy, drunk to where like, he would pass out. Damn. They tell me like, they went upstairs, the man he passed out drunk, beer in the hand, like gone. And they went in the basement, setting his wife out and shit like that. Damn. And listen, 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 listen. Wow. And the dude was like, you feel me? Like, he asked her, like, hey, why you do this? Like, you feel me? You living this 
good ass crib and it looked like your husband take care of you. Like I see good ass cars in the driveway. And she was just like, he's just not enough. Like, damn, like, sure, you willing to sacrifice him? And she be like telling him, like, she don't got a word how. That's just that's just one of those situations where a motherfucker like just using the marriage to as a yeah. as a career path. That's you what I'm saying. Yeah, but like, bro, you them. never really know. You don't know. You really don't. Yeah. Really yeah. I'm saying, but that depends on that person. You gotta think our judge of character. That's really what it comes down right. to. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna date nobody who I who I even see. You have to be a good judge of person to really be in love with somebody. And then yeah, like man. a lot of females in our generation, you like know that like girls nowadays, they want equal pay, equal rights, but like. They still want us to do for them. Like, that I'm, not against, I'm not, not against chivalry. I said something. I'm also yeah. not against equality. Yeah. Some, you can, you can have a lot of shit. Honestly, nowadays. But, but, yeah. nowadays. But, bro, I ain't gonna fight, though. Dudes who be chivalrous and all nice, them niggas who get walked over. That's like, it's fact. the mean ass dudes that be snatching girls up, slapping them and shit. Oh, I love that shit. Like, I be on the right. phone, you feel me, with a little female yeah. and shit like that, and I be hearing her friends like, yeah, I need a man who can dominate me and shit like that. Like, but then you'll call him abusive after you just get mad at him and shit like that. Yeah. Like, females in this in, in this generation just all weird and shit. Like they never know. We what can't they do want. nothing about that, bro. This gonna turn I'm into a conversation. Saying, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, yeah. I, but I feel like all this goes back to the root problem of a lot of things. Like, for example, not having. Fathers in the exactly, house, exactly, and not and not, self love. Yeah, so like if you not if you don't have your dad in the house and him and the father showing you like how to take care of a woman, like the dad taking you out to eat and walking on the outside of the street and telling you about the way the fork should be. If if you don't know that, you go you go just go of what you think or or how you or of how it should go. Right, right? and um, a lot of a lot of times those those paths gonna be the right path to take. Right. But they go they go down these paths and then once you so far down there it's hard to change somebody into another yeah, direction. That's real shit. <laughs> yeah. That's real shit. Because you ain't gonna and learn then, like, courtesy. And then like this is another yeah. thing I feel like people Just gotta understand. Go. It's <laughs> like once you do something you gotta realize like you feel me, that's what you're gonna be viewed by. So like if you wanna get married and shit like that, but you wanna go through a whole phase too, do that. But just know I don't know no dude that's gonna cuff you if you just did. But well, like what you saying, but well, like what you were saying, I actually, yeah, I had a girl funny. say to me before. A girl literally said, "So you said, a couple girl that got thirty bodies." I probably got thirty. Oh. It don't matter. <laughs> I don't think type of shit matters as long as like yeah. sex is sex is sex. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't judge a woman based off her sex is. You can't judge a dude based off they sex. I ain't go for I'm not we don't judging. Know that. I'm just nah. saying like you feel me like. What if it's like a porn star? Like say for instance, if I know a girl has been down there through the trenches. But when we vibe and shit like that, I could fuck you, but I can't wife you because, like, that's I don't want something that everybody Yeah, I think that's just, like, a personal I want some exclusive yeah. shit. Yeah, I think that's just a I mean, what if that's all she know? What if that's all she, you know what I'm saying? Some women are really fucked up. I mean, what yeah. if that's literally really all she know? I can't help you then. You can't turn a hole into a housewife, you but motherfuckers don't try a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Like, you like what you were from what you were saying, like, I had, I literally had somebody tell me before, like, that they, they, um... View niggas the way that they view niggas and treat niggas the way that they treat niggas because they had their heart broken at an early age by their father. Mm. Yeah. Before the, any other nigga could have the chance to break their heart. So now they didn't turn them to, turn them into a savage. Man, you know what I'm wild. saying? That, that that's real shit. And a lot of like you got a lot of fucked up dads. And I know like a lot of girls at young ages who was like molested or touched on by their uncles or stepdaddies and shit like that. And then now they they older they they damaged by that shit they scarred by that shit now they view all niggas that in that same light you know what I'm saying yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. that's how you never really know what a, a mean, person's story is for real and it's the, yeah. I think it just but that comes down with the being honest like you know <coughs> but yeah like I feel like y'all should like be able to work through those things that's like some dudes don't know how to show emotions and show love like some dudes feel like oh if I show emotions I'm a pussy but. That really don't make you. I think that's how they raise a good man yeah. to show emotions and show how he feel and express how he feel. Like that's a strong man, a man that's just bottled up. You feel me? He like a soda can that shook up. Like he could just pop at any moment. But sometimes you don't know. Like sometimes you don't know though. You could be the thing with a person that changes this this person. True. Who yeah. who fixes whatever's going on with that I person? That person they might come to you damaged and need some work, but you might be the thing that. Takes them to the other side, yeah, you know true. what I'm saying, and, and and help them get to where they need to be. I ain't gonna front though, bro. I ain't looking for no liabilities. Like you feel me? You Man, every relationship shit, is just like come I'm with, on my shit. Every relationship is gonna come with sacrifice, fact, trust, uh-huh. 
and character. That's the tough one for me, bro. It's hard. It is. I didn't see niggas. I didn't see niggas. I'm pretty sure. Was pregnant getting took down. I'm sure. I'm sure everyone in here. Like, you got the hard cheated and been cheated on. Nah, I ain't never cheated, bro. I've never, I never cheated, but I've been cheated on. Yeah, you know I ain't what I'm saying? Cheated, even then, you know what I'm saying? In, nah. some, in some form of the aspects, some shit has happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just shit. I don't know but if I've been cheated that's on. Dependent, that's dependent upon the person. Yeah, that's true. that's true. You have to be a good, a good judge of character. You can't, you know, be with a motherfucker and a But some people are so good at having what they... Are bro, and then so like, you can't yeah, show right. you can't that's just right. jump you can be into, with somebody jump into like, something with somebody. Bro, you can be with somebody for three years and like it'd be smooth, and then boom, they just get to the acting different. Yeah. Like, but it's just, it was always that's there. just the sacrifice that you, that you there. make. Period by by Thanks. dating people and, and wanting to make a connection with a person. You know what I'm saying? That's just the chance that you got to take. You never know because yeah. you being so cautious like that about this, you would never have nothing. Oh, yeah, I mean, you you feel me? I ain't no front, bro. I can years. always like you feel me. Write my write a name on my hand and just get it cracking. Like that's me, bro. <laughs> Paul like, Molino. I really call that. Right, right, right. I didn't call a lot of bodies like that. Like, what's that? <laughs> 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 go to the crib, get some of that hundred percent coconut virgin. But that's our episode. <laughs> that's our episode hey, man, today. Fuck with us, man. Continue that, uh, to fuck with the podcast. Freezer really did it, bro. Freezer yeah. really did it. Nah, bro. Dragon Ball Super. Freezer did it. No I shirt game. All three right, eighteen, catch no man. Smoke. Catch me at Export Fitness twenty four hours, man. Nah. There was blood. Like and share this video. Our royalty podcast. Run up Woodside. We out you. Yeah. <laughs>